What's going on guys? Welcome back to another Curly Fries BHD6 video and today we're gonna be going a little bit over all of the monkey changes that happened with the new uh, What is it? 43 update? I don't know. They update this game way too frequently for me to even know um, But yeah, we're gonna go over this. Let's see it. So um, yeah, the new update 43.0 and this is the update notes They are linked in the ninja kiwi uh, BHD6 video. I don't really care. You guys don't really care Let's just get into these changes and I'm only gonna go over the pretty important ones So I'm gonna be skipping over some of the more boring ones that don't really do anything and there are a lot of changes a lot of price decreases as well this first one is going to be with the juggernaut dart monkey and this got three pretty big changes so first off the knockback duration so this is for like ceramics when it knocks it back has been increased from 0.1 seconds to 0 0.15 seconds the knockback to heavy targets, which is basically ceramics, has been increased from 1.5 to 2.25. And the knockback to light targets, which are just the default balloons like red, blue, green, yellow, has been increased from 3 to 4.5. And the Super Monkey Fan Club has been lowered by 500 bucks as well. The Boomerang Monkey got a lot of changes. First off, starting off with this actual starting price. This thing has been lowered by only 10 bucks, but that's still a really big difference if we're talking about it from a chimp standpoint or anything like that. So there's already one buff for the Boomerang Monkey. Now the mob domination has been switched up quite a bit as well. Its main pierce has been increased from 18 to 54, which is a lot of pierce if you don't know. That's basically how much balloons it can pop at once. This thing can deal with herds of balloons now. And when you upgrade it to a 205, it has been increased from 27 to 81 so this guy can literally absolutely demolish like not waves of ceramic oh my god he can demolish like millions of rainbow balloons like at once like probably well we can send it to like 81 oh sorry for the mute button there we can send it to 81 send out rainbows um yeah they're basically screwed these guys like it, it's just absolutely insane this guy's overpowered for the cannon the balloon crush has been buffed by quite a bit its damage has now increased from 12 to 24 the frag damage has increased from 12 to 24 but the ceramic bonus damage has went from 12 to 0. So, no more bonus damage on the ceramics, but the damage entirely is basically, it's basically a net buff. And the bomb and the recursive cluster and the bomb blitz damage has been increased from 3 to 5. So, a little bit of a buff needed on this guy, but he's still absolutely terrible. Now, the attack shooter got a lot of buffs. First off, it's price being 300 bucks cheaper, which is obviously, obviously really, really good. But the more tax upgrade has been increased by 10 singular cold hard cash bucks, along with the even more tax. The blade maelstrom got a buff and a nerf. Its damage has been increased from 1 to 2, but its pierce has been decreased from 200 to 100. And the Super Maelstrom's damage has not been changed at all, but the Pierce is reduced from 500 to 300. So, quite a bit of buffs, but also quite a bit of nerfs. But I'd argue more buffs than nerfs. Now, the Glue Gunner got a whole lot of changes, but the biggest one, in my opinion, is that the Glue Splatter price has been reduced from 1,450 to 970. I am playing this in hard mode, and these are based on medium. But basically, that's a 500 or a 480 dollar decrease in price which is very very good however the pierce buff has been reduced from three to two now the glue storm got a bit of changes and the storm damage and the storm duration which is basically this guy's ability has been reduced from 20 seconds to 15 seconds along with the slow ability which is 75 percent to 50 percent but if you get it with stronger glue it, it even still got a nerf it is now reduced from 90 to 75 so a lot of nerfs on this guy however the 401 balloon liquefier the little puddles that it make from pop blues is gonna last an extra round which is a very very good buff i don't think people will ever talked about that much but that is a very very good buff for this guy and lastly the relentless glue got a price increase of 400 bucks so awesome and there was no changes to the ice monkey I'm j i just wanted to let you guys know now the 120's shrapnel shot for the sniper monkey has been increased from one to two and the 220 shrapnel shot damage has been increased from two to three as well the 520 crippled mob shrapnel shot pierce has been increased from two to three which isn't really that big of a change and a really really cool buff for the crippled mob is that it's dam it like damages balloons around the monkey that it's targeting or around the balloon that it's targeting so i can do an example for you guys we can place down a bfb with a yellow balloon and okay well i didn't okay i, I didn't mean to do 81 times but we can do a bfb uh get this b oh wait wait we gotta get we gotta get the cypher monkey out. what am i doing guys what am i doing okay like this and then we get a yellow balloon and the yellow balloon should pop to this guy uh, I think we're, we're placing yellow balloons down, and they will... Okay, well, this guy needs to set to strong. Sorry, I'm trying to give you guys the best example for you guys. So, yellow balloon like this, okay? Okay, well, it's too hard for me to do, but uh, you guys get the gist of it. If there is a balloon around the Moab or whatever balloon the Cripple Mob is targeting, it will now take damage. 
pretty pretty cool buff now there has been sub changes but i can't place the sub down so i will just let i'll just tell you guys right now the 400 plutonium reactor dart and air burst damage has been increased from one to two the 520 energizer gains a bonus damage to lead balloons which is plus five damage to lead when submerged which is that's a pretty good buff the 502 and energizer price has been reduced from 32,000 to 31,000 so a thousand dollar decrease the paragon hero a cooldown increase from 1.5 to 1.3 pretty pretty little nerf probably something you won't even realize and the paragon hero damage multiplier has been increased from four to five which is that's a, that's a little bit of a decent buff but for a paragon it's something that you definitely won't realize and while we're taking and while we're talking about the sub or the ones you can place on water the monkey buccaneer price has been reduced from 500 to 400 or the buccaneer price which is just which is just an entirety so this guy is very very cheap now only 270 bucks to buy in hard mode the 300 destroyer price has been increased from 2009 950 to 3050 so a hundred dollar price increase the 003 merchantman price has been increased by a hundred bucks as well from 2300 to 2400 to 2400 i don't know what i just said there but the navar unlock xp which is something that i've never seen changed before has been increased by 250,000 xp so it's going to cost you 750,000 xp for you to unlock the buccaneer paragon which is i've never seen that before Pretty, pretty weird changes, I'm not gonna lie, but definitely something that shouldn't, shouldn't absolutely change the game forever. Now, the heli pilot got a whole ton of changes, and, uh, yeah, we need to talk about them. So, the special population is marine. The little ability you can use can now be sold in chimps, which is definitely, um, it's definitely a little bit of a weird change. So, if you get this guy down, you can actually sell him in chimps game mode where you normally can't s sell things. I don't, I don't really know. That's a weird one. Now, the Comanche defense little little dartling gunners, whatever you like to call them, the little helicopters got their attack rate lowered by 0.3%. Not too big of a nerf, but this guy really should not be getting nerfed, if I'm being honest. The mini missiles damage has been increased from 1 to 4, however, but the missiles pierce has been reduced from 80 to 60. The missile ceramic bonus damage to these little, little helicopter guys has been increased from 1 to 2, but the missile MOAB bonus has been removed from 2 to 0, so it's not doing any more bonus damage to any of the MOABs, but it's doing more bonus damage to the ceramics now when you upgrade to the comanche commander the little many mini heli dart pilots thing whatever you'd like to call them their damage has been increased from two to three their missile ceramic bonus damage has been increased from one to ten which is absolutely insane but the missile moab bonus damage has been basically completely removed from eight to zero so honestly they really should have just gave this guy the buffs and not any of the nerfs this guy is basically going to sit the same as he did before the wizard got a lot of pretty good changes as well so the overall price has been reduced by 50 bucks which is definitely a very very big buff however if you get the uh 300 what's this guy called the Arc Ar arcane mastery price it has been uh, increased by 100 dollars. and i'm sorry for all the stuttering it's really late but i just wanted to make this video because the update just came out now when you upgrade your wizard monkey into the shimmer it's got its pierced increase by 300 so it's now 200 to 500 which isn't really that big of a change because it's really it's really just going to like the blue camo balloons but um it's, a, it's a basically a buff nonetheless now the 210 fireball craft path damage has been increased from one to two and they decided to change the dragon's breath wizard monkey basically entirely so the projectile count has been increased from one to three so it's basically spewing what three fireballs at once let's see yep three fireballs at once for this guy which is absolutely insane but that did come with some pretty bad nerves so the dragon's ball fireball damage has been decreased from nine to three so if you hit all three targets with the fireball it's basically going to do the same thing and its pierce has been also reduced from four to three but that's also a buff because it now has three little f fireball guys I, I don't really know why they changed it this guy was perfect as he was before now the wall of attack like this little fire thing on the F wizard lord phoenix just by itself has been increased from three to five but the fireball damage has been decreased from 27 to nine so yeah basically he's absolutely terrible and uh, just to add a little bit of stuff on that cake to unlock the wizard paragon you need to get a million xp now instead of 500,000. i don't know why they're changing the xp like this but they're just doing it nonetheless so I, there's nothing you can do about it now the ninja monkey got a lot of nerfs but also a lot of buffs at the same time so first off the biggest one is that the price has been reduced by a hundred flipping dollars which is absolutely insane and the attack cooldown has been reduced from 0.7 seconds to 0.62 seconds so two buffs back to back and just to add on to that just to add on to that if you upgrade into ninja discipline the attack cooldown has been reduced from 38 percent to 30 on all attacks so this guy is got a lot a lot of buffs 
but there are a lot a lot of nerfs so we're not by those nerfs yet so when you upgrade into the caltrops the attack cooldown has been reduced from 4.4 to 3.9 so he's basically throwing out caltrops faster and for the sticky bomb like 004 the attack cooldown has been reduced from 5 seconds to 4.5 seconds so a lot of very good buffs on this guy however the ninja discipline upgrade has been has, has got its price increase by 50 bucks which is definitely not too good the double shot price has been increased by 50 bucks as well the distraction price has been reduced by a hundred dollars which is another very big buff on this guy along with the counter espionage which has been reduced from a hundred dollars as well but the shinobi tactics price has been increased by three hundred dollars so eh, that's not too that's not too good of a change the ck shuriken has been increased by fifty dollars in price along with the caltrops being increased by fifty dollars in price as well and uh but for the paragon it's been reduced by five hundred thousand xp so instead of needing a million xp to get this guy you only need five hundred thousand some pretty weird changes on the ninja monkey but i mean that's just to come now a pretty cool druid change decided to happen in this update so whenever you use the jungle's bounty ability it will now generate a live but it won't generate a life at the end of the round. So you're only gaining lives every time you use an ability and not at the end of the round anymore. And the Spirit of the Forest no longer makes lives at the end of every round as well. You just have to use the ability. Some pretty weird changes, but um, I don't know. I mean, that's, that's just what happens. Now, something weird happens. So in the patch notes, it says with the Heart of Vengeance, you can only leak up to 100 lives and gain 50% attack speed on this. But the upgrade still says you get 100%. I think they forgot to change that or maybe they messed it up in the patch notes. But whenever you leak lives with the heart of vengeance druid if you leak 100 lives this guy will start attacking 100 times faster but now they changed it so fit to 50 so this guy's only going to be attacking at 50 percent more speed instead of 100 a pretty weird nerf and it doesn't say that in the game but it says it on the patch i don't i don't know i don't know i'm just the messenger here now honestly this is probably the weirdest change of them all the monkey wall street got nerfed and buffed but in weird waves so the nerf is unfortunately it costs ten thousand dollars more to buy this guy which is an absolutely terrible nerf but the buff is that its range has been increased by 15. so i don't know take that as you want but there's also another buff where it generates 15 lives per round instead of 10. so honestly not that big of a buff in my opinion the nerf definitely outweighs the buff but um what are you gonna do the spike storm's cooldown has been increased by five seconds so from 45 seconds to 50. the spike storm ability spikes minimum duration is reduced from 10 seconds to 9 seconds i don't really know what that does and the ability spikes maximum duration is reduced from 13 seconds to 11. i don't know what that means you guys might know what that means but yeah that's what that's that's what happens and if you upgrade it into long reach the duration for a bonus ability spikes is increased by by 50 percent to 100 i still don't know what that means i i i really don't know now the carpet of spikes price has been increased by two thousand dollars and the ability remains at 18 seconds to 22 seconds i think that's just like when this guy spews it out so i don't really know what those buffs mean i, I don't really i don't i really don't know now the long life spikes price has been reduced by a hundred dollars but the deadly spikes has been increased by a hundred dollars the monkey village got a few really weird changes the primary expertise bounce distance is increased from 50 to 90 and the 005 monkeyopolis a little price thing uh, uh wait I, I need to get i need to get a banana farm here it says it it base cash amount reduced from 1250 to a thousand so whenever you get this guy and he starts making crates it is lower oh that sucks but what are you gonna do they're just nerfing this guy into the ground the engineer monkey got a few pretty fun changes so starting off the price has been reduced from 400 to 350 so this guy is now 50 bucks cheaper which is definitely very very nice and if you upgrade into a 100 the sentries now spawn with 20 percent of their range to the track so it will spawn like 20 percent away from the track i don't really know if that's a buff or a nerf i don't really know now the century champion damage has been increased from two to three the cleansing foam price has been increased by fifty dollars and the overclock soap pierce is now increased from 10 to 15. Uh, that's literally not going to make a difference but what are you going to do now the double gun price has been decreased by 50 percent but the blue trap has been increased by a hundred dollars so yeah I don't, I, don't really know. I don't really know wait i think i said the double gun price has been no the the, the double gun price reduced from 500 to 450 dollars so it's 50 dollars cheaper and the blue trap price is increased by 100 dollars. i think i already said that and um yeah look right here look at all these beast handlers yeah i'm not i'm not reading all that beast handler you guys can read all the beast handler changes if you want i hate this guy 
But um, yeah, that's really going to be about it. That is all the monkey changes that happened with the 43.0 update. If you guys did enjoy, it really, really would mean a lot if you could subscribe. I'm trying to reach, you know, 2.5K. But it's fine if you guys don't want to. I'm very tired right now. This video, these videos always take a long time to make, so I'm sorry if I'm stuttering so much. I really hope you guys enjoyed, and hopefully I will see every single one of you guys in the next one. Later.